Come here, buddy. I guess I'm gonna get you fed, and after I get you fed, you'll be my my loyal companion from now on. Bad idea. Ah. Search. Feed. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, put that away, you maniac. Yeah, all right, everybody. We are here today, taking a look at a little upcoming banger by the name of Farmer's Father: Save the Innocents. Now, this one is a very interesting game because it's supposed to be a prequel to Farmer's Life. Now, if you've played Farmer's Life, you kind of know that's more of a farming, semi-survival, open-world, tongue-in-cheek game. Very fun, mind you. It's a lot of silly stuff you can do in that game. This one, however, is a full-blown-out survival game. A very serious one. I'm not sure this takes place, like, um, you know, amidst an actual global conflict in history, or if it's like an imaginary one, or one that's kind of reproducing something that happened in our history. But, there's a war going on, you have to get your family out of where you live, and essentially survive out in the wilderness. You have to keep not only yourself fed and properly situated, but your wife and your baby child as well. Sometime before the events of Farmer's Life, war is something I never wanted to experience, suffering, pain, and despair. This is terrible. Hostile platoons of soldiers attack zealously. Explosions and shots from planes. The village has been ransacked. Enemies do what they want. No one is safe. Everyone should run away, not get caught, because who knows what will happen to them. In one of the farms, the family has just woken up, unaware of the threat that awaits them. Welcome to Farmer's Father. The last year of the war is ahead. Survive this difficult time with your family. Our hero must take care of himself and his family. Don't let anything happen to them. How did I get here? Where am I? Let me look around. I mean, isn't this supposed to be our home? <laughs> How did I get home? No idea. See if the father can move at all? Yes. How's it going there, wife? And child. So Z lets us focus, lets us see where things are around of importance. Who gave us a special ability? I mean, let's not ask questions. We just have it. Take the most important items from your home. Alright. Well, if it's lit up, I guess we need it. Sound perfect. I will indeed take a hammer. Sounds very useful, except, uh... Okay, here we go. Go one. Go two. I need some light right now, my friend. Let me look into this bag of mine. Will all this will all those sticks fit in? I'm not sure about sticks, but I'm taking food right now. Okay, I collected everything that was left in the cottage. Mother, take the kid, and we run away. Follow me. I could also give some milk to her. I will milk you later. Oh! I mean not 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 in that way. Not in you know what I meant. We might want to turn this off. You know, a light out in the darkness in the woods might kind of attract attention, I would imagine. Trees are... It's kind of weird how they're outlined like they would be fully grown. <laughs> when they're actually not yet. We're, we're kind of looking ahead. Towards spring, I imagine. Some planks here. And there's a soldier that we saw earlier. This is the guy that worries me. I have a hammer. Do you want me to just bonk this in the head? He's got a helmet. Might have to hit him in the neck. Too fast. My head slowly and quietly now. Why does he say my head? Is he speaking to himself? Like I'm his head? Overpower. Oh, there it is. We have psychic powers. We could see through buildings, objects of importance, and we could apparently choke dudes out with Jedi mind powers. Okay. Could we uh, take this? It. I can't take this rifle with me? But I could highlight it. Why would you not take it? All right, let's go, baby. We must run. Where are we going? Uh, straight north seems to be fine. Check if our hero is able to run. Oh, he's running, all right. Mother, we have to find a safe place. I was thinking about a campsite in the woods. Let's go. I have to get this dug out because we are going to freeze. It's true. Move it. Wife, in you go. Turn some lights on in here, huh? Wife, please. 
Are you still tall you cannot enter the dugout? You know, I always wanted to marry an Amazon, so here it is, you know? Dead by Snoo Snoo. This off. Let's get some lights on in here if we can, huh? Alright. Take the gun and ammo from the table. It looks like my wife is just kind of like, you know, just swag-walking a little bit. You know, we're in the middle of life and death here. Can't have you trolloping around, you know? Light a kitchen. Well, I mean... <laughs> I, I don't see a kitchen here. I guess downstairs. Just jump in here. No, no, you gotta, you gotta climb down. You gotta load the kitchen in, Falcon. I see. It's kind of dark in here, so let's turn my bad boy back on. What do we got here? All right, we got a couple of beds. Apparently we're the Ricardos. We cannot sleep together. Oh, let me tell you, we better be sleeping together here and baby. Well, actually, baby should probably be down below. Because if you were to roll off from here, I think it'd be more fatal than rolling off from the bottom side. What's in here? Ooh, we already kind of stocked a little bit. Good. Good planning ahead. Turn this on for some more light. Okay, I think we're fine. Light a kitchen. I guess that means the stove, right? <laughs> yeah. We need to sleep, honey. Get the kid and go to sleep. All right. Wife, will you ever come down? I'm just going to sleep right now. At least I'm trying to. There it is. How long would you like to sleep? Well, let's wake up early in the morning and start getting some survival stuff done, huh? Okay, mama. I'm going to go outside and try to, you know... Do some work to keep us alive. What time is it? Is it did it say 1028? I, I thought I said it for us to wake up at 6 in the morning. <laughs> what happened? I overslept or something. Who knows? Okay. So. Where's the barking at? The barking just stopped. No, it's back. Uh, let's see. Collect the firewood from the pile next to the dugout. Is that you barking over there? No, that again, that can't be barking. That's a that's a deer fowl. Deers don't bark, and if they did, I'd be kind of freaked out. Wait, that is a dog. Well, I guess we'll go chop down wood afterwards. We have a dog over here. We might as well pick him up. Oh, wait a second. There's like a body there. Is that his master or what? This could be. This dude could be crazy. I'm not sure about this dog. Let's uh, make sure that we're loaded. If he comes at me, we gotta pop him. Sorry to say. Fido. We just buried him. <laughs> no second dot. Return the dog to the camp. Bury the man? Yeah, I guess we... have done that. Animal state starving. Oh. Come here, buddy. I guess I'm gonna get you fed, and after I get you fed, you'll be my... my loyal companion from now on. Now, your master passed away. I think he was your master anyway. We buried him like he was your master. So I imagine that's probably gathered us a couple of brownie points with a doggo. And now he's become our doggo. Cool. So dog man, he's starving. How do I how do I feed this man? F more. Ah. Search. Feed. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, put that away, you maniac! Oh, he doesn't take damage, thankfully. I almost killed my dog. <laughs> that was a mistake, dude. I was trying to click on feed, obviously. How does, uh, you know what? Hold a dog. I got you hooked up. Uh, wife, I brought home a pet. I hope that's not a problem. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure he'll help us out. But he's dying of starvation, so I must feed him. Um, sure, cooked ham. Sounds pretty good. Take one for myself, too, you know? He's not allowed in here? Yeah, I know, I get it. No. Of course. I get a pen and I can't bring him downstairs. Her and the baby? Yeah, they could be downstairs. But it's your child, Falcon. It doesn't matter. Why is she allowed in the kitchen? Not my dog. Come here, buffers. Okay. Um. Feed. Hey, stop. Come over here. I'm, I'm not going to shoot you this time, I swear. Okay, I guess he's fine now. Did, did I feed him what I took out? Oh, I did. Okay, good. It didn't really, like, you know, make it seem like we did, but I guess we did. Perfect. Okay. A little bit janky, but, you know, it's to be expected with these type of games. I guess this is a good as trees I need to bring down. And allegedly... 
wrenches should come off at some point. Okay, careful there, doggo. I already shot you once. I don't want to necessarily cut you in half. Dogman, please. Away from the falling tree. Thank you. Now then. Branches. Branches. Let's go. Is that the cutting point that you're highlighting? Doggo, please. I don't want to hit you with the axe. You're a danger to me and yourself at all times. Okay, so these are the branches. Pick those up. We have completed our branch task. Perfect. Dog, please. Stop stop rolling the log down, okay? He's trying to, like, ambush me, you know? <laughs> he wants me to go down below. He's gonna roll the log over. He's gonna run me over and kill me. It's payback for the shot, you know? I understand. I feel you, dog. I'm sorry about that. Prepare the boards. Now, when I have the tree divided into smaller pieces, I can cut out long longitudinal boards from the logs. Okay. So... Yep, that is indeed the cutting point. Properly highlighted for you. I was wondering where nature was this friendly towards us humans, you know? You cut down one of his trees and she's like, oh yeah, sure, this is where you cut it in case you want to get some proper boards for yourself. However, now, we need to put this into hammer slot, more than likely. Never knew it was so easy to acquire boards, huh? The frost is strong in the air. Oh, that's not good for me, I imagine. Let's cut these down, then we're gonna go hunt. We do have a little bit of food that we brought with ourselves anyway. Plus it was some food in that thing after all. Chop wood. Hmm. I see, it's like a little QTE. We got what we needed. But I mean, we might as well cut everything that we got, which isn't really too much. Build cradle for the baby. Ah, so he's not sleeping in the bed. So I guess we are sleeping on the Ricardos after all. The kid can sleep with us. There's not an old. There's not enough space. I mean, come on. We're not that huge. He could fit with mom down below. I will build him a makeshift bed. Cradle. Now, how does one craft? You're asking. Is it C? Is it B for building? It seems to be B for building. Cradle. Starting materials eight, required materials five. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, right there. I guess that's good too. Let's put our hammer. Aha. Hey. Wife. The baby can be placed down now. I'm shivering. But did we not? We turned this bad boy on, right? So I'm thinking if we're going to go and do some hunting, we might as well do it early in the morning. Right now we're kind of hungry, thirsty. Might as well get to some rest and do everything early in the morning. So for now, just uh, give me two, I suppose, for now. I want to get boozed up right now. I mean, maybe I do. Maybe I deserve it after we, what we've done here today. Give me one bottle of vodka. Thank you. And food. Still got that, salt, that cooked ham. Yeah, that's fine. We could try to go cook as well. There's a cooking feature. But for now, you're dry as a bone. Yeah, not for long. Consume. And let's have the bottle of vodka. <laughs> it just gives me energy. Okay, so we now we got three bottles. We could refill these if we want to. Perfect. Let's consume this. And we are splendid. Let's get some sleep. Okay, so today we should build an animal pen, apparently, but we'll do that afterwards. Right now, I want to get some some hunts done and find the shovel as well. I guess we might as well just pick it up because it's here. And then we'll have them search afterwards. That's fine. Later. Right now, hunting. Not hungry yet. Could you... Oh, Falcon put the gun away. <laughs> You're right. Um... Search. I mean, I'm gonna follow him to the place, so at least we know where it's at, and then along the way we can try to hunt, is what I'm thinking. Oh, 
Oh, is it this? Oh. I guess it's just too dark for me to notice that. I guess he had found it already. Sorry, dog. It's, it's my fault. <laughs> Perfect. Good job, doggo. I'm sorry. I just wasn't aware of these uh, splendid graphics here. Let me know that we can dig. Um, pop it open. Oh, yo! He's found breakfast for us. Antibiotics as well. Are you hungry? I, I, you know, you could have one of these. Take all the things from the chest. Yes, we've done that. All right. Let's go. Oh, <gasps> <Shh>. <laughs> <laughs> oh right in the kisser. Doggo, you have done well. You led me to a chest and you put me in the perfect spot for us to take the head off of this, this poor elk, I think. Never stood a chance. We might have a second one too, boys. God damn it. Oh, we eaten, boy. We are eaten. Gut on sight. You can also carry it back with me. 30. The first hunt has been completed. Now, I believe you get more. Why is it red here? It's actually reflecting off of somewhere over there. Uh, I believe I read... After hunting on the animal, you can gut it where you shoot it. But it would not give you that much meat or leather. The best way to get more resources from the animals is to take it with you and deliver it to the slaughtering station. <laughs> we don't have a slaughtering station yet. Remember that the animal body is really heavy and it'll slow you down. Um... We have another body there. I don't want to lose that body. So presumably, if I just go here, I think... I shouldn't get lost? From... Cabin? Oh god, I am lost already. Where's my cabinet? So where's my cabinet? Oh, I'm, I'm in the wrong direction altogether. I'm by a bunker, apparently. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. It's fine. Oh, check it. Pumba, it's over for you. <gasps> oh, he survived a shot to the side of the dome piece. Are you kidding me right now? Come on. Come on. Okay, all I really want to do right now is because we don't have a slaughtering station to just drop this here. Yeah, that's fine. Now, let's go and pick up the other one. We'll bring that one back and we'll try to see about building a slaughtering station for it. Alright, here's the sun finally. It took until 9 in the morning for it to come up. Surprise. Is that the bunker right there? Ooh. Where's the body at? It was a little bit low, right? There it is. That is the bunker, correct? Yes. Okay, okay. Two things to do. Pick up my reward. And afterwards, we'll check out that bunker. Good job, Doggo. I attest both of these things to you because you brought me to the chest and then from where you put me at, we were able to get some sweet shots off. Bunker life. Do you think there's any soldiers in here? Oh. Okay. So both of these just lead to here. Ah. We're gonna need a crowbar. Which we haven't found one just yet, so more than likely we might have to, you know, get a station to start building our tools. Okay. Well, I mean, we're gonna build a slaughtering station, presumably. That's right, you just move that body around, Doggo. F that body. <laughs> you want me to cut it right there? You're a monster. Let's see. Butcher's table requires six boards. That's not too bad. However, right now we can't carry much, so... Put that one down. Um, yeah. That's exactly how I wanted that to stand up for us. We need to cut ourselves down. Another tree? Oh, wait a minute. We might be able to actually get some saws from this one. Can we? 
Yeah. Two. Dog, can you stop pushing me around? That was not enough, friend. That was just four. Yeah, we need to cut down one more. I mean, we could probably cut down a mini one. Oh, never mind. The mini one just turns into a bunch of branches. Careful, dog. Trees coming down. Woof, woof. There we go. Oh, a little rolling action as well. Um, I mean, it should be outside, right? I'm not going to be butchering stuff inside of my home. Dog, please move. Fine there. And we need our hammer. Okay, let's see. Hey. And you. Drag animal here, yes. And we get leather. We get, we get like, I'm not sure we got leather the first time. No, no, we didn't. We only got six meat the first time. So this is the way we actually get hide to make some leather products afterwards. <laughs> Did you see how it's just frozen in place half of my body under underground? Oh, that was terrifying, especially with this uh, elk over there doing the T-pose earlier in his little elk form. And we got all the items we needed. Perfect. Well... I think we've covered enough for this one here for this one shot. This demo is available to you guys too. I'll have a link for you down below if you just want to check it out yourselves. It's very intriguing. I'm, I'm liking the concept, obviously there's still work to be done. It's still fairly, fairly extra janky. I imagine the final product will be janky, but right now it's extra janky. So there's definitely some things to work on there. The performance could also be a little bit better for sure. But um, I like the concept, especially just living out here in the wilderness, having to provide not only for yourselves, but your family as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time. Sorry, dog. Wife says no. No dogs in kitchen. <laughs>